look on the software mud box of Autodesk. So this software is a software to paint textures. So it's gonna be useful to paint layers and to add colors into our surfaces. So let's have a look. When you launch Mudbox, you have this welcome um, window and it's saying what you can create as a starting point and as all your recent files uh, you just open for previous projects. So let's start with a basic head. So we have a basic head here and we're gonna play with this to do some texture. So it, Mudbox is also a software for sculpting but I prefer to do the sculpting series on ZBrush um, and use this one more as a poly paint tool. So if you go on the right corner, right top corner, you have a layer here. So you go into sculpt or paint. So you want to be in the paint mode and you want to be on the paint tools here. So you're gonna use the paintbrush here and when you're gonna click one time using the paintbrush on your character, it's gonna ask you to create a new layer. So you're gonna call this base. You can see the size of the file, the type of format and extension, so TIFF, and what channel are you painting. So for now we're just gonna paint the diffuse in a 4K TIFF. Press OK and here now on the layer we're gonna see diffuse have a new layer called base with a strength of 100. Basically we're gonna play in this 3D view. So like Maya, if you do Alt and left click you can rotate in your object. If you do Alt and right click you can zoom and unzoom. If you do um, middle click you can pan into your software. So pretty useful. Basically here we're gonna go into file and we're gonna do so it's the same as Maya but we can see like import, export and recent files, okay? So what we just want to do is we are here and on the side here you can see there is the color we are painting so let's put a vivid red and there is also the size, the strength and if you want to mirror or not what you're doing. So you see there is this stuff coming on the middle saying this is what always gonna mirror so we're gonna just mirror in x for now size on 9 and strength on 100 on the basic material so now if we paint you see you cleft click to paint you're gonna have this painting coming on the geometry and adding the color so depending on the level of subdivision of your geometry you're gonna have smoother textures so like here you can see it's a bit blurry, so if I just control D, I don't shift D to add level or subdivision, now my pen gonna be a, a bit more smoother. You see? So this is based on the level of subdivision as well and on the level of texture you are painting. So we can change the color just for trying and paint here and you see behind there is some stuff happening want here to have some purple okay so this is the way to poly paint in mudbox you have here multiple material so you can see the strength if you go to less than 100 it's like a layer like an opacity mode and you can see it's going from 0 to 100 if you create a new layer using the plus with the white page here I'm gonna ask you a name you can put second layer press ok and start painting on top of the previous layer for example let's do something like this but we want to have like a multiple a different type of fusion so we can do like all the other software of compositing we can play with like comp fusion mode and see different type Stuff. So I use overlay just to have something cool here and we're gonna just you know play with the opacity to maybe have a bit less of details. So this when we click on color we have this color panel here we can play with the ring choose a color here we can use the spectrum as well 
an image, we can load an image and, and do it, or the blend mode. So I prefer the ring because it's the one we use the most in most of softwares, and we can here play with the hue, saturation, and brightness. Okay, so this is what we want to do when we paint. Here we can see so this is the size of the brush. If we here here it's bigger, and here it's smaller. We can see on the circle. If we press, so I don't remember exactly the shortcut, but M. M is for the strain and S and B. B is for the size. So if you press B and you left click, you're gonna increase the size. So that's the shortcut. So you can be like more precise here. Let's put another color like this and more bigger like this. You see? So this is B. And M is the strength, so basically less strength, you can see this bar, less strength and less affecting the stuff, right? You're gonna have to repaint to achieve hundred percent strength, and you can add more to have a list a little less. Okay, so that's what we want to do with the painting mode. So this is about here. You can remove the mirroring and uh, we do it since the beginning. Here and we paint in one side, you're not coming on the other side, okay. So that's for the basic parameters of the painting. Now we want to see what is a stamp image. So use the stamp image here. We can see in the stamp here we have a salt preset. And we can as well add a new one. So if you are going this arrow, we can do add stamp. And on the add stamp, we can add a specific image. So if I go in my image here, I don't have image here. If I go in. Uh, pictures, uh, what can I use, uh, uh, this TV, yeah, so you see this logo, and this is, can be a stamp, so here you can play with multiple stamp, randomize, so let's remove the layers, so we have here this trash here, we're going to press it once, twice so we can see now we're back on the base we remove the base and we create a new layer called like a step press ok so just create a new layer if you want you can also create a new scene just to see what's happening on the step so you press B to play with the size and now you can see the step you see this is like doing the pattern we put here you see, so it's affecting this using this pattern. And I click on randomize, so it's actually doing the stamp in multiple forms. So it's like it's stamping like this. And at the, at the next click, you're going to stamp like this, maybe rotate, maybe play with. So we are, can play with the size, the stretch, uh, horizontal, the stretch vertical, and the, the size and the opacity. So if we put this very high for everything, and we just change the color just to see what happens. I'm gonna see multiple like size coming, rotation, so a lot of more of variability. If you put another stem, like those ray, you can see the ray are here like this, but the next one they saw they turn. So it's like you can see what is happening on the randomize. If you remove randomize and you paint using like yellow for just to see what happens, you're gonna see like painting a ray, you know like following the, side, the, the, the direction of the mouse see, so if you do like this, it's going top you see, but if you put randomize into this, you're gonna just, you know blur this character, okay? so that's the way to do some poly paint on the box um, stamp here, so you have multiple type you have this one for the bands, for example if you want to add some bands in your character see so you can play with the stamp, add new ones depending on the project, so you can see what happens. Okay, and you have the spacing. So what is the spacing of the stamp? Spacing of the stamp is like if you put, let's remove this and put another one. If you use, for example, this band stuff and you use a large distance of spacing, basically when you right, right click and stay in the click, the space in between brush gonna be way more elevated 
if you put this to like zero, it's like painting straight on the way. So what I'm doing here is I right click once, and just painting. And if I put the distance and I do the same right click, a left click, and I have here is like doing one, two, three. You see more like sparse based on the on the spacing. So you can put the spacing you want to play with that and have some fun. Okay. So this is for the stencil part. So we are using the paintbrush since the beginning, but maybe we want to project something. So we're gonna just delete this shader, this layer, create a new one, and we're gonna go in the projection. And now in the projection we can use a stamp image, but it's gonna be a stamp image for the projection. So what we want is like we are in the projection here, and we want to do maybe project this green stuff so we have this green image now now we can see there is a new stuff opening here because we selected an image so we want in the stencil you can same as the stamp you can add your own images here and you can stamp uh, project the the texture here so you see exactly this piece of grass is coming exactly on the on the face of the character i want some grass on the ears on the other ears Maybe I want some, I want to have this fur here. So I'm just playing with the default texture to see what I can do with the projection tool. So projection tool is basically like this and you have here on the left all the way to play with the stencil. So middle click with S, it's gonna turn, uh, middle click is gonna drag, move, rotate with the left click, scale with the right click. So very, lot of flak like, stuff to do here and you can hide the stencil using Q you see so it's changing okay so this is for the projection so it's very useful when you want to project a specific image on the texture and we can delete here press this again we have the paintbrush we're just gonna paint a bit and imagine we want to have like a Mm, a blur on the on the bottom so he is using now a, a stencil on the top you know, we can press off so there is no more stencil okay and here you see we have the blur and as you see it's blurring the texture here so this can be useful when you want to merge some colors together play with some specific stuff but here you see it's a smooth blur of the texture so now we have like a brush stuff happening on our character okay so i'm just gonna present all the pen tools you can play with that there is some contrast there is some burn you know you can you can play with a lot in Mudbox sponge you can change the u as well and um, so all this it's a way to play with the software okay when you're happy with your texture so imagine we come back here we did a texture here a texture here we have this and this. Now we want to export this based on the UV here. So you can see on the UV how it's gonna address. And we got the 3D view. We can do a right click here on the layers. So on the layers here, right click and do export channel merged. So it's gonna basically take all the, the textures, merge them into one texture, all the layers into one texture. So we can use this as a PNG in the color of our Maya, Blender, 3D Max, any 3D software. We have now the PNG, so it can be another extension, but we have the image representing this color, okay? So right click here, export channel merge, and you have access to this. You can also do here on the file, export all paint layer, and you can see you have a specific stuff if you want just the default material, if you want to group all the names and stuff like this, okay? This is the way to export the work you're doing. So now it's more like about, uh, so the stencil can, is, is good for the projection if you want to project the grass, for example, but imagine you have this kind of stuff, but you don't want to project black and white. You want to use this as a paintbrush stencil to to add um, like a color using this patch, okay? So the white gonna allow the color and the black gonna like block the colors. So you're here, you're in your paintbrush, you put 
purple and now when you paint so let's remove this stamp we paint you can see it's now affecting so we're gonna just put off it's gonna affect the way we're painting so we are on the torso here we put this uh, let's put those for example those trays so it's the second texture of the stencil here on the red and you see we are now doing exactly what the stencil is giving us it's like some stray and some very horizontal lane some vertical lane and yeah this is something we can do with this we can have maybe some noise or some dots you see so all this is part of the stencil but on the paintbrush mode not on the projection mode so you're painting through this stencil and you, same as the projection mode you can move the stencil rotate the stencil scale it and play with that okay so i think that's all we're gonna cover today in terms of like color in modbox that's a good introduction if you have any question don't hesitate to text to me to on the on discord and if you want like you can see different type of way to paint what's the process and stuff but now you have you are all the knowledge to open the software try some stuff using the basic skirt and paint and after export this for you maya okay so enjoy the sale i hope you enjoy the video and if you have any question don't hesitate to message me okay have a good day guys